Hello friends, here Deloitte is with one good opportunity for you guys. This is the post for business analyst. So in this particular video, we'll see what is this post about who are eligible for it and the most importantly, how to register for it because the form is a bit difficult. So all the doubts of the students have been covered in this particular video. So please watch the video till end so as you can fill the form appropriately else you, the chances of your getting to be getting selected will be reduced. So I'll prefer you to share this video with your friends as well and to see the video till end to as so as to fill the form absolutely correctly. So my name is Anshul and you are watching our channel the Insight Coders. So let's begin. So as you know, Deloitte has like this is the opportunity by Deloitte for analyst and basically for the business analyst post. So the location that is mentioned here is Hyderabad, one of the prime location of India. After that, they are telling what is what are you supposed to do. So the business analyst is supposed to have these skills. So the testing skills, the SDLC, the uh, DFD and each and everything that is being required for analyst should be there. After that, who is qualified, like who is the one who can apply for the job? The one who is from BTEC or BE, any stream, they haven't mentioned any particular streams here. And the years are 2019, 2020 and 2021. So all the three years are eligible for it. That is why this is the best opportunity for the freshers and for the experienced ones as well. So Deloitte, as you know, this is one of the India's best company. So let's see. So I can all go through the what are the expectations that they have, what are the skills that they require, each and everything. Let's see how to apply for it. As soon as you will click on this apply now, you will be redirected to a page like this. So all you need is to fill the login details here. So the first of all, you have to click on this new user because you have to create a user first, right? So for that, you will be redirected to this page. You just have to do one thing, put your username password, re-enter the same password and email ID. You have to remember the username and password because afterwards you will be logged in using that ID. Okay. After that, you just have to put your email, click on this continue, then you'll be redirected to this page. Select English and click on this. I acknowledge that you have read all the declarations like this and you are uh, like you want to go ahead. So click on this I acknowledge. So you have to fill this particular five steps and the last one is to review and submit the final form. So the first thing is to upload your resume. So all they require is just a resume. So you can either link, uh, link it with the LinkedIn or you can uh, like Dropbox or anything. They have a lot of options there. Okay. The second thing is your personal information. So this is again a simple thing. So they are asking for the source. So say I say the source is internet and YouTube. So they are asking like what is the source so you can directly put our link as well after that your simple name phone number and this is a simple task so here it is no problem this is a very simple one and you can simply fill all the details and click on the save and continue the next thing that comes is like what I did I was when I was filling the form I just have written here Deloitte website the but this next was automatically it this came after I selected this website. So after that, I have to fill this particular one as well. So for this, like I was a bit uh, like uh, it was giving me an error that you haven't filled this field. So it was a mandatory one. So you can't go ahead. So you have to keep a uh, notice of these things. The third thing was a simple questionnaire. So this was all about what is the grade that you have and what will be the first service that you'll prefer auditing, tax, corporate finance or the enterprise risk services. So you can go through all of them. So whatever you feel like, you can choose that as your first priority. Now, see, you have already uploaded your resume in the first step, but still they are asking for the resume. You know, here you have to write the resume. So they have mentioned either you can directly type it or you can copy and paste it. So, you know, what was the issue when I was just uh, copying and pasting? It has already mentioned that they will not format, you for it, uh, format it for you. You need to format it yourself. So... Some students who are a bit lazy like me, they try prefer to copy and paste. But when I copied, I I have like it was indicating that the the chances of getting selected, the probability has been reduced because they are saying you are such a lazy person that you are not even uh, putting your resume correctly. So for that, I have uh, like copied and pasted it, but in a smart way, so that each and everything I have written here was properly in a simple format, like the heading was in capitals. Say first one is objective, 
then in small i have written what is my objective then the education so you don't need to make the table you can write it into the points like the first one is btech after that the second point was 12th that is senior secondary education then the secondary education mention the college name after that just mention your what is your percentage aggregate till now okay after that the third point was my uh, internships then the skills that uh, in the skills i prefer to write three things the technical managerial and the uh, like the other skills that you have because this was a post for analysis so i knew that here they need the testing skills as well so i mentioned them explicitly here the after that achievements then the co curricular then your personal details which contains your hobbies father's name parents and all and all and finally uh, the declaration is an optional one and uh, in the top you should have your name and all so exact format but to be written yourself so you can copy and paste but you have to main, like check the formatting side by side okay the second thing that they require is a cover letter so you have to put your cover letter here so uh, simple the cover letter uh, i have just uh, like selected that file here and attached it the next thing was education in this you have to fill what is your college name so fill your college name then what is your discipline that means say cec computer science and engineering and after that you have to fill simply gp out of gp major out of so in many of the co like colleges like in my college as well so our university give our uh, like in the form of percentage so the gpa was like we are not uh, exactly sure about that so what i did i just put here like i i have got 84.5% so i just written here 84.5 out of 100 same way same in the major as well so if your college directly gives the gp that's correct otherwise you can go through this well okay after that your work experience so if you are a fresher you can skip it and if you want to put your uh, say internships then it is optional but i prefer not to put the internships in the work experience okay so after that you just have to click on this save and continue and the last step was to review and submit so the all the application that you have filled till now so they'll just show you after that you can simply click on this final submit button and as soon as you will click on it you will be redirected to this page that the process has been completed you can click on this my profile to see all your profile once again okay so this was all about this particular one but still if you have any of the doubts just let me know in the comment box